All right, all right, all right. Guys, welcome back. I am still Ben Dorr, political director for Minnesota Gun Rights, coming at you live, loud, and proud from our headquarters here in sunny Northfield, Minnesota. I'm just kidding. It's not actually sunny here. It's pouring rain, and it's extremely uh, overcast and dreary outside today. But uh, I know I'm kind of an oddball like this. Uh, the rain, it really pumps me up. I don't know why. I'm not a sunshine guy. Love the rain. Love the rain. I guess that's why I'm in politics. Guys, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, again, I come from you from Northfield, Minnesota. Lots been happening. A lot has been happening. We're only now a few weeks away from the, uh, the primary on August 14. Gun owners have questions. Gun owners want answers. And uh, I'm here with a couple of pieces of information that I think you will find uh, very, very interesting. Uh, first of all, I'll get my buddy James watching uh, from Schaefer, Minnesota. Says he moved. Wow. Good job, James. I got Monique watching. Jason. I got Jason watching here today. The winner, guys, the winner, we have uh, two different things that we're talking about right here. First of all, you're probably wondering who won the $100 bill for asking Kurt Doubt whether or not he would pass Stand Your Ground or put Stand Your Ground on the House floor for a vote. Uh, if you guys were on that video, um, we were asking gun owners to ask Speaker Doubt if he would put Stand Your Ground on the House floor. If he gave us a solid yes, somebody was going to win this $100 bill that I pulled out of my wallet and is going to that gun owner. If he says yes or if he says no, the first person to uh, to get me that answer from Speaker Doubt, not I support stand your ground, not I passed it and the governor vetoed it, none of the excuses. If we could get Speaker Doubt to promise that he would put stand your ground on the House floor for a vote, I was going to give somebody a hundred bucks. Well, I'm here to tell you all right off the bat that so far nobody has been successful in getting a straight answer from Speaker Doubt. In fact, in fact, Speaker Doubt has gone stone cold silent, silent. Scott says your shirt is so wrinkled. I'm sorry, Scott. Either I'm getting smaller or this shirt's getting bigger, but I, I haven't worn it a long time and I kind of realize that it doesn't fit me anymore. So this is probably, I either need to put on 25 pounds um, or get a new shirt. It's probably going to be a good new shirt. Um, Chad says he told me to PM him and he never replied. Yeah, so that's what's happening here. We've had hundreds of gun owners telling us I PM'd him, I emailed him, I commented on his Facebook page. We all asked him the same question and he wouldn't give us an answer because you know what? He saw this video. Uh, he saw the video from the other day, and he knew that he couldn't hoodwink gun owners any longer. He knew that all of his, because that's what was happening. People were saying, hey, are you going to put Stand Your Ground on the House floor? And he would say, I support Stand Your Ground. That's not an answer to the question. That's an answer to a question I didn't ask. That's an answer to a question I didn't ask. Or he'd say something like, I already passed it, and the governor vetoed it. That happened six years ago. You didn't pass it. You weren't speaker then. Um, so he's been giving people all these spinoffs, all this crap and these diver diversion tactics uh, to get people off his trail. But once he saw that we were offering a hundred bucks, once we were offering a hundred bucks to gun owners to get a straight answer from a politician, uh, then he went stone cold silent because he knew that nothing he could say was going to fool gun owners. So guys, keep it up, you guys. Keep it up. This 100 bucks is still available for any gun owner who can send us a screenshot of an email, of a Facebook message, of something saying, yes, I'll put stand your ground on the House floor for a vote. But we don't expect him to answer these questions. Uh, he's got his hands caught in the cookie jar. He knows it. He hates it because he's a politician, full-blown, pure-blooded politician. It's terrible. So instead, guys, we have a different drawing. A different giveaway is about to happen right here on the Minnesota Gun Rights Facebook page live. And you're asking, 
well, why didn't I hear about this? Why didn't I hear about this giveaway? Um, the truth is, guys, this was a closed giveaway. This was a private giveaway. Um, to be totally honest, the winner of this giveaway um, was predetermined, was predetermined. It actually went to, uh, to somebody who's earned it. Um, and I'm sorry, uh, it's probably, it's probably not you if you're, if you're watching this right now. Um, but today we're giving, we're doing a big giveaway and I'm about to reveal it. You guys, this one goes to a, a person who's not necessarily been a friend of gun owners. Uh, in fact, he's been attacking gun owners hog wild for the last several days on Facebook. He's been going not so crazy. The winner guys of today's giveaway and i'm going to show you the prize right here on facebook live so don't hop off the winner of today's prize is has been predetermined and picked out by myself and our director chris the winner of today's giveaway is speaker doubt himself yes speaker doubt has won the minnesota gun rights grand prize today um and i'm here to show it to you right now folks this this is the great prize of speaker doubt right here this hat belongs on top of that king's head at the moment folks it is crowning my water jug but speaker doubt you have won your very own woman's march um i can't really tell you exactly how to describe this hat uh, because we know we have some younger folks watching this but you all know what it is you all know what it is this hat belongs on Speaker Doubt's head, a crowning achievement for his service in defense of the Second Amendment, for everything he's done for gun owners, for the straight answers that he's been giving gun owners the last several days on Stand Your Ground. This hat belongs on Speaker Doubt's head. So, Speaker Doubt, I want you to know you can swing by our office anytime, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and pick up your grand prize uh, winnings from our uh, drawing that only had one name in it. Um, and you can pick this up anytime, nine to five. Until then, until then, I'm going to pin this to my banner behind me here. We're going to pin this on the wall so everybody can see what a fantastic prize we gave away to Speaker Doubt. Doubt, hope you come pick this up. Hope you come walking through my door anytime, Monday through Friday, nine to five, business hours. Um, and I, ha I have to say, uh, you should, you do have to pay the taxes. Um, that's all part of the deal. You have to pay the taxes on this uh, $11.49 hat. Um, you do have to pay the taxes when you come here. So please bring a couple of bucks along with you uh, when you come to pick up your grand prize. It's a prize fit for a speaker of the house who won't do a single solitary thing for gun owners and instead spends days and days attacking gun owners, blocking gun owners on Facebook, um, deleting their comments, demanding answers, and throwing his speakership in our face. Um, this is the prize for a man like that. You get your very own Women's March hat. We know that you probably see things more from their perspective than from the perspective of gun owners uh, because you're so out of touch. You're so out of touch in your elitist speakership. Um, you think gun owners owe you something. You think gun owners owe you your position of power. They owe you their vote. They owe you their thanks and their gratitude. That's what you think. Um, <laughs> it's okay, Audrey. We're totally okay with that. So I said a bad word. Um, let's see here once. <laughs> yeah. Oh, glad you guys are getting a laugh. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. But but more importantly, folks, uh, this is this is exposing an anti-gun politician. In fact, one of the most powerful men in this entire state is Speaker Doubt as Speaker of the Minnesota House. Um, and he absolutely, abjectly refuses to stand up for gun owners, uh, to fight on behalf of the Second Amendment. Um, he will not do it. And now he won't give gun owners a straight answer on whether or not he'll put stand your ground on the House floor for a vote. Of course, we knew he wouldn't do that. Uh, he has not done it um, in the last three years that he's been speaker. He's not bothered to put stand your ground on the floor for a vote. And now he's attacking Minnesota gun rights. He's attacking our organization. 
your organization. This organization belongs to you. It belongs to our members um, and, and our supporters. You guys were the backbone of this organization. He calls you fraud. He calls you liars. He calls you this, that, and the other thing. And now he turns around and stabs gun owners in the back again, again, by telling all these candidates, don't fill out the Minnesota gun rights candidate questionnaire. Don't put it on paper. Don't tell them. Um, do not tell them where you stand on gun rights issues. He continues to assault the Second Amendment, uh, all the while wearing this banner of perfection and, and this, uh, this banner of how fantastic he is, what a great job he's doing. Uh, but gun owners are not fooled by his gimmicks anymore. They're not fooled by his tricks because as soon as gun owners ask for a straight answer, once they ask for a straight answer, he shut right down. He shut right down. And so when we see this now all across the state, and I do want to mention one more thing after this. We see it all across the state now, all these state representatives who don't do anything for gun owners. They're, they're Republicans. They claim to be pro-gun. They're not doing anything for gun owners. They're all on Facebook sharing Speaker Dowd's post. I've spoken with many of them. I've seen them face to face. Um, I've talked with them at the Capitol or I talked with them at the state convention. And they're sharing these posts of Speaker Dowd saying, I've never seen these guys. We've never seen, we've never seen uh, um, you know, these guys at the Capitol. I've never talked to them. They're just lying out and out, flat out, full blown liars in defense of their speaker. Speaker Doubt, who is attacking gun owners and not fulfilling his promises to gun owners. So guys, so guys, if, if you want a certain state rep to get a very similar prize from Minnesota gun owners, Minnesota gun rights, and from you guys, feel free to go on our website, minnesotagunrights.org, and uh, for, a, for a measly donation of 12 bucks, maybe we can find a cheaper one, we will make sure that your anti-gun legislator gets a matching hat to go along with Speaker Doubt's grand prize. And we're going to line this up. Like I said, I'm, I'm, this thing is going to sit on top of my water jug, which I bring to the cap, to the, to the Capitol, into the office. And we're going to leave this set in here for the next, uh, well, however long it takes. Speaker Doubt has to come pick it up. You got to come pick it up, Speaker Doubt. This is your grand prize. Um, Darren Sutton says, have you spoke uh, with Dow personally at the Capitol ever? Absolutely. We tried to speak with him, and he started screaming at the top of his lungs. He started screaming at the top of his lungs. Uh, in fact, we're probably going to put this video online for you to see. Uh, we, we tried to ask him about Stand Your Ground. We tried to ask him what he was going to do for gun owners. He wouldn't talk with us. He wouldn't have the conversation. He simply started screaming and uh, backed into a backed into an elevator and took off. That was that was our interaction with Speaker Dowd because he does not like having his authority questioned by quizzling, measly, uh, unwashed masses such as ourselves. Um, he doesn't want gun owners to get answers. He doesn't want to talk with you guys. Um, he simply wants an A rating from gun owners, um, from the Minnesota Gunners Caucus, from the NRA. And that is as far as he wants to take his defense of the Second Amendment. So, uh, yes, we've spoken with dozens and dozens of legislators at the Capitol uh, who don't want to fight for the Second Amendment. That's what we saw all last session, right? Linda Slocum, anti-gun legislators are forcing gun control down our throats. We go to the Capitol to see what's being done. Who's going to stand up for the Second Amendment? Who's going to push stand your ground? Who is going to push back on their attacks? And we couldn't find a single solitary soul. And so it was you guys, our members, our supporters, you guys made, and we know this, it's verifiable. You guys sent hundreds and thousands of emails uh, from our action center, went into St. Paul. You guys made hundreds and thousands of phone calls. Uh, you guys signed petitions. Um, you guys came to our gun rights rally, over a thousand people at our gun rights rally at the Capitol. Um, you guys are the ones that stopped the gun control last session. But if you ask Speaker Doubt, which a friend of mine did, in fact, I have the screenshot. If I could find it, I'd probably throw it in here. Um, they asked, he asked some straight up questions. He said, will you, will you stop universal gun registration from ever passing? And he goes, I already did. 
First of all, you didn't. Second of all, um, that's not an answer. The question was, will you stop it from ever passing? And you said, I already did that last session. Uh, he claims credit where the credit is due you. And he says, it's all because of me, because I am speaker. You guys bow down, bow down to me. I am the speaker. Uh, he claims credit for things he did not do. Um, and then he attacks gun owners hog wild. And of course, in that same list of questions, it's on his Facebook page. He said, will you put stand your ground on the House floor for a vote? And he says, I already did that. Or he says, he said, I, I believe his answer was, I support stand your ground. That's not an answer. That's not the question that was asked. We, we said, will you put it on the House floor for a vote? And he will not answer the question. Instead, he deflects and he deflects and he deflects and attacks and attacks gun owners, attacks our organization, our members, our supporters he attacks. And, uh, and this is what he does in response to legitimate questions from law-abiding gun owners who gave him his majority. This is what he does. And that is why Speaker Doubt is the winner of our Minnesota Gun Rights giveaway. This is his prize. This is his grand prize. Belongs on his head. Speaker Doubt, um, when we usually do giveaways, we also do request uh, that the winner of the giveaway um, pose for a photo. It's just kind of a thing we do to let people know who got it. So uh, when you do come to our office and pick it up, um, we do request, you know, first of all, that you pay the taxes. This is not a cheap hat. Not a cheap hat. We're not allowed to pay the taxes. Um, you have to pay the taxes, and I need a picture of you shaking hands with me um, wearing this hat, of course, because that's the prize. Um, and uh, so you can, so we can let folks know that you came and got your prize. So I just want to throw that out there um, uh, right off the bat, so he knows the terms of this fantastic giveaway um, from Minnesota Gun Rights. Uh, Butch Meyer says, I've been there. I know he's seen me. Sure, Butch. Butch is a fantastic supporter of ours. He's been at many um, gun control votes and things at the Capitol. Uh, just a member and supporter, fantastic guy. Uh, showed up to stand there and be counted amongst Second Amendment supporters. And uh, and so, yeah, he's seen it. He's seen us. We've talked with legislators. Kurt Dowd has seen us. And uh, Butch, a uh, fantastic guy. Um, Fantastic American has been there uh, every step of the way. Dwayne says, when will he be reelected? Uh, Dwayne, uh, this year, the, the entire House is up for reelection. Uh, and on November 6th, the primary is, um, is August 14. And uh, Speaker Dowd does not have a primary opponent. Um, but what he does have is thousands and tens of thousands, well over $100,000, of taxpayer money, of house money that he can spend on his race to boost himself and make sure everybody's getting saturated with mailers and different things, saying what a great supporter of gun rights he is. One of the perks of being a public servant, don't you know? Um, Darren Sutton says, why would that knucklehead say not to fill out the survey? What could possibly be wrong with, if nothing else, informing their voters of their opinions and views. That's basically him saying he doesn't care about us. He doesn't need us. So sad. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is, Darren. He doesn't want, he does not want candidates on paper promising to do anything. Because if they don't, we're going to hold them accountable. We're going we're gonna to go talk to them. We're going to say, hey, you promised in writing when you were running for office that you would do this. Uh, now it's time to fulfill your obligation. You promised. Let's do it. And if they say, you know what? Go pound sand. Uh, I only filled out your survey uh, to get myself into office. Well, you know what? When election time comes around, we go into their districts. We run radio ads. We run sponsored uh, videos that we make. Uh, we do newspaper ads, door-to-door -door lit drops, mailings to voters. We do all of this stuff to expose anti-gun legislators, anti-gun candidates at election time. We are rolling out these programs right now in the primary as we speak. And Darren, Speaker Doubt doesn't want us to have anything on anybody. He doesn't want us to know who's pro-gun, who's anti-gun, because the anti-gunners, a lot of them are his friends. They're part of his caucus. Uh, he protects them. 
So that is why he doesn't, he's telling everybody, don't fill out the MGR survey because with the survey, we have verifiable proof, right? Now uh, we can hold it up and say, look, here's the survey. Here's what he answered. Here's his signature. Um, he's gone back on his promises and we're going to expose him. So yes, he's exactly saying um, he doesn't care about you. He does not need you. Uh, but all he needs is for you to show up at election time and vote for who he tells you to vote for. That's all he needs gun owners for. After they're in office, you better shut up. You better not say anything. How dare you ask him to pass stand your ground law? How dare you? Don't you know how hard the speaker works? It's a joke. It's a joke. It's not representation. Um, these are not our leaders. They are representatives is what they're supposed to be. Representatives of the will of the people. And Speaker Doubt refuses to represent the gun owners who he swears he's the king of. Uh, well, you know what? If you want to act like a king, Speaker Doubt, because that's what he was. He was on our Facebook Live video on Saturday going apoplectic, nutso, totally lost his mind on our Facebook Live video last Saturday. Um, and he's sitting here saying he was on that video to hold you accountable. That's what he said. He said, I'm on here to hold you accountable um, for what? You are the elected representative. We hold you accountable. You do not hold us accountable. How dare you? So, Speaker Doubt, if you want to act like a king, we are providing you with the crown. Here's the crown to go along with your kingship. We want to see this on your head when you're standing in the speaker's well next session, if you should land yourself there by some mistake. This is the crown of Speaker Doubt. If you want to act like a king, you can wear a crown. Um, but guys, um, at the end of the day, we just don't play this game. We don't play this game with gun owners or with, uh, with legislators, with politicians. If politicians want to tell gun owners to pound sand, it is our duty. It's our responsibility. It's what we're here for, uh, to expose them, to bring them to light, uh, and to make sure gun owners know the truth about what is happening here in Minnesota. And he's got all kinds of people protecting them. Uh, he's got all kinds of people backing him up, giving him A ratings, giving him money, uh, providing him with protection. Um, and, uh, and we're just not interested in that. We're interested in stand your ground. We're interested in constitutional carry. We're interested in a legitimate defense of our gun rights, not just total silence and a bunch of legislators sitting back in their chair during committee hearings going, Oh, well, I'm just not going to say anything. I mean, I'm talking about you, Eric Lucero. You just, you just kind of like hide back in your chair and just kind of like let the committee hear. Come on, stand up for gun owners. Stand up and fight for the Second Amendment for our freedoms. Stand up for the things that we hold dear and that uh, that matter the most to us. That's all we ask. I know, I know. Sometimes it comes off like we're being a bunch of, uh, you know, hard cases. You know, Minnesota gun rights, they're the jerks. All we ask is for proper representation and for legislators to fulfill their campaign promises. Speaker Doubt, if you have no intention of passing Stand Your Ground Law, that's fine. Just say so. Just say, I'm not going to pass Stand Your Ground Law. Don't tell gun owners you're pro-gun. Don't tell gun owners you support Stand Your Ground Law. Uh, just be honest. That's all we ask. I mean, we know because Ron Latz will tell us and be very vocal about it. Ron Latz is going to introduce universal gun registration and red flags orders every single year. That's exactly what he does. He's done it for years. He will continue to do so. At least we have an honest anti-gun politician. That's all we ask from Speaker Doubt is if you're going to be anti-gun, just be like Ron Latz. Be an honest anti-gun politician saying, I hate the Second Amendment. I hate gun owners. I hate firearms. I hate the fact that that uh, everyday Americans are afforded the ability to protect themselves and their loved ones. Just say it. And uh, hey, at least you're being honest. That's all we ask. A little honesty and follow through. Mark Anderson says, uh, so what are your thoughts on what they did in Eden Prairie? Mark, um, yeah, you know, there's not much to say there. That's a, that's a pretty anti-gun section of the state. We did not have uh, any members who were contacting us, asking us to step in. Um, go after that, and we've we're uh, we're rolling out uh, 
uh, programs for this election season. Um, it's uh, it's against the law. They're not supposed to be able to do things like that, but they find back doors and they have anti-gun judges who are always more than happy to vote their way. Um, so the whole thing is a joke. Uh, the whole thing is a joke. Um, but we're not surprised in the least. So uh, Darren Sutton says no integrity. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, Darren. There's just no integrity. You go up to St. Paul and everybody's shifty. Everybody's, you know, everybody's looking around. Everybody's whispering in the corner somewhere. Everybody's looking for the next best way to sell your soul down the river for more power, more status, more control. This is what happens in St. Paul is a bunch of legislators just get together and find out the next best way to boost themselves, you know, get themselves on top of the pile and put gun owners at the bottom. And frankly, gun owners are sick and tired of it. Sick and tired of being trampled on by House leadership. Sick and tired of being trampled on by Senate leadership. You know, uh, uh, Gazelle Gazelka, always the prey, never the predator, won't stand up and put stand your ground on the Senate floor either. So it's time for these people to learn a lesson. It's time for them to stand up for gun owners. And so for now, you guys, make sure your candidates filled out their Minnesota gun rights candidate questionnaire. If they didn't, ask them why not. Odds are pretty good. They got the email from Speaker Doubt saying, don't fill out the MGR survey, and they're going to fall right in line. If they didn't fill out the MGR survey, how can you know if you can trust them to be pro-gun when they make it to St. Paul? Especially when before they even get to St. Paul, they're doing what Speaker Doubt tells them to do. They're not even in the Capitol, and they're already caving to Kurt Doubt. It's, it's just, I don't know, it kind of, it, it just blows my mind. It blows my mind. It's time for them to stand up. So make sure your candidates have filled out the Minnesota Gun Rights Candidate Questionnaire. Um, you can give them one. In fact, I will grab this off our website right now. You can print this off and you can give this, uh, this survey to them. If you see them walking in a parade, you see them somewhere, uh, feel free to give this to them and say, fill it out, send it back. Um, bam, right there. It's in the comment section, you guys. Make sure they filled out the MGR survey and that they are not doing what Speaker Doubt told them to do and stabbing gunners in the back and not filling it out. Second of all, um, the hundred bucks, hundred bucks is still up for grabs for anybody, anybody who can get a straight answer out of Kurt Doubt. Will you put stand your ground on the house floor for a vote? A clean yes will get you a hundred bucks. A clean no will get you a hundred bucks. Anything in between like I support stand your ground or I passed stand your ground six years ago and the governor vetoed it or any, any of those answers, they don't apply, they don't qualify. We need a clean yes or no answer from Speaker Doubt because he won't give us one. Um, first person to send us that screenshot wins a $100 bill tax-free out of my wallet and into yours. You can go buy yourself uh, a box of ammo or get a drink, whatever you want. Chuck Earl says he never replies. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening here, you guys. Uh, once he realized that gun owners aren't stupid like he thinks they are, I know that politicians like to think that gun owners are just dumber than dumb, um, but I think you guys are actually pretty freaking exceptional. Um, he Now that he's realized that gun owners aren't falling for his lies, he's decided to just not reply at all. He doesn't want to give a straight answer. Um, and uh, But again, for the first person who gets the answer, gets to the bottom of it, gets a yes or a no from doubt, wins a $100 bill. And again, last but not least, Speaker Doubt, be sure to stop into our office anytime, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Pick up your Minnesota gun rights um, uh, giveaway. You want to act like a king? You want to act like a king over the people? We don't like kings here in America. We don't like them. We don't like them. We like elected officials. That's what we like. We like elected officials that we can remove from office and who do their jobs. We don't like kings. So if you want to act like a king, here's your crown. We got you a crown, Speaker Doubt. You are the winner of our drawing, which, of course, only had your name in it. Um, you can swing by our office anytime. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this right up here. How about that? It can set right there. Yeah, we can set right there until he comes to pick it up. It's it's uh it's on top of my water jug right now. 
nice place for it. Go from that water jug up off top of his jug. That'd be a good idea. Come pick up your uh, your uh, your grand prize anytime, Speaker Doubt. And guys, if you have an anti-gun thug who is uh, who is a representative of yours in your district, if they won't follow through, I mean, think of like Josh Heinzman. I mean. Ah, drippy, nasty, not good, not good, not good. Um, you know, hates gun owners, hates the Second Amendment, pretends to be pro-gun. Is one of uh, is one of Kurt Dowd's best friends. If you want milk toast Josh Heinzman to get one of these hats, uh, feel free to go shoot us a donation on on our Facebook page, Minnesota Gun, or on our our website, MinnesotaGunRights.org. Twelve bucks. That's all that crown costs. Twelve dollars is all it costs. Uh, if you want your if you want your representative to get one, any twelve dollar donation I see, just uh, just make sure you tell us who you want it to go to. We'll make sure it gets there. Butch Meyer says, I gotta go. Thanks for all you're doing, Ben. Rock on, Butch. We'll talk later, my friend. Um, Mandy wants to know what is that hat you got there? I can't tell you what the hat is. Come on, young people watch this show. We can't uh, uh, you guys, you guys know what it is. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you, but that's for speaker doubt guys. It's what I've got for right now. Thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in. Keep up the fight. And I want you to know, um, you know, we're, we're at war on behalf of our gun rights right now. I know it seemed like last session was that's when the war was taking place. That's when we were fighting tooth and nail for our gun rights. And it was, but right now, at election time, when we have the best opportunity every two years to hold these people accountable for their actions, now is when people like Speaker Doubt pull out the knives and they're ready to sink them into your chest in order to protect their death grip on power. This right now is the struggle for power in Minnesota. Who has the power, you or them? Them or gun owners? That is the question. That is the fight that's happening right now. Our rights are not safe, are not safe even during election season um, as anti-gunners will listen to Speaker Doubt. They won't fill out the survey and they'll do whatever they can do to pull the wool over gunners' eyes. So stay active, stay involved, stay mobilized. Find out if your candidate filled out the Minnesota Gun Rights Candidate Questionnaire. Ask them and we're going to post the results on our website um, very, very shortly here, and uh, and we got to keep up the fight, you guys. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, let's see here. Oh, let's see here. Kirsty is saying she might have she might have proof that Speaker Doubt said no, he will not put stand your ground on the House floor. Um, oh, she says he replied to me, but I was working and didn't get the screenshot. I'm kicking myself. Uh, for he told me no. He said out of fear the Democratic Party will make more money than him if the attempt fails. And then I believe he went and deleted his comment. Wow. Wow. But you know what? Nobody's surprised here. He's Speaker Doubt. He's Speaker Doubt. He's been riding on the on the coattails of better speakers, better men who passed Stand Your Ground years ago got vetoed, but now he's claiming their action on behalf of him, and all he's concerned about is raising money for himself and his own party. Well, that sounds like the speaker doubt we know and don't love. Am I right, folks? Um, I'm going to hop off right now. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to get some work done here. Speaker doubt, come get your crown. It's right here. Anytime, anytime. All right, you guys, have a good afternoon. Have a fantastic rest of your Thursday, and I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good day.